Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. And today we are gonna do a pretty big empties video for the month of May. Now this is about a week before the end of the month, so this is about three weeks worth of products. However, I am traveling at the end of the month to take my son up to visit family. So I thought I would just, you know, film what I had on hand and the rest will kind of make it into like a use it up or the June empties video. So today I have some hair care, skin care, some makeup I actually used up, um, a lot of Bath and Body Works, some wax melts, wallflower plugs, all the things. So we're going to jump in. I always do the non Bath and Body Works stuff first um, because it's usually the least amount, but this is a big mix. So I'm just jumping right in. I hope you all are doing well. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you used up this month. Again, we'll do our last update for the spring project use up um, coming up pretty quickly. So I'm getting through my products. I hope you're doing the same, getting ready for SAS, um, so my annual sale at Bath and Body Works. So um, I can't wait to share that video with you to show you all the things I used up. I'm pretty excited about it. So we're gonna jump in. This was something Aiden added. He always gets like, you know, this type of thing for his um, body care, but he used it up and he said, mom, do you want to put that in your empties? I said, of course. So this is just the X. Uh, it's in the scent black, which is frozen pear and cedarwood. I really thought this smelled good. He uses this for all the things. Um, so he even uses this as like shampoo, but this just says body wash. So he used up a product. He was pretty stoked about that. Um, I do have these in my project use up. I used up some more of these sheet masks. I'm really glad to be getting these out of my collection. This is the e.l.f. Pore Refining um, Primer Mask. This is a really nice mask, really inexpensive, and you can pick these up at Walmart. And I use these right before I put on makeup. I do really feel like it gives a nice brightening effect, kind of pore filling, but like just making a blurring effect for, you know, I do have some pores in here. Um, my chin always feels nicer after I use a mask because I don't really think there's a ton of skin benefits to masks, but they are a nice experience. And when I put makeup on quite a few days a week, it is always nice to give my skin a little break, give it some some kind of nutrients. But this doesn't really have um, like ex exact ingredients on here, it just says pore refining and it helps minimize the appearance of pores and brightened skin. So I do feel like it does that. I wanna say these are under like a dollar. I mean, they're really inexpensive. I think I got like a three pack for something, but um, you can find these at Walmart or on the e.l.f. website. And then I was able to use up two more of the Bio Bell masks. This one I love. This was the hashtag happy hour. Helps minimize the sign of aging with red wine, red wine and retinol. That was harder to say than I thought it would be. And I don't really feel like it has enough time to activate anything with the retinol. But again, these are more, I think, for like a topical experience than to actually see skincare benefits. But my skin always feels really nice for a little bit after I use them. And then the last one I used was a hashtag beauty secret, which is pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. All really nice. And like I said, four more for the project. Use it up. Okay, so then I did get through this lip scrub from Wet n Wild. This is the watermelon flavor. I always say, but it's scent. And these are simply like a dried sugar. It was in this little pot. Um, so I have another one from Lush and I will say that this is more accessible and it pretty much is the same thing. I think maybe the Lush is like a tad bit more watermelon-esque, but these are under $4. You can pick it up at Walmart. I love a lip scrub while, you know, I'm doing my skincare at night. I always just do like a cleanser, moisturizer, and a skin spray. So in between those steps, I'll put a little bit on and I just like mix it together with my lips. Then I'll wipe them clean. Um, and I really feel like it just, it's a really good step before putting on something like a Laneige sleeping mask because this really helps my lips feel super soft and like a, again I feel like the lit Laneige le sleeping mask for your lips sinks in even just a little bit more when I apply a lip um scrub so I do this at least three times a week and I have this one uh I think there's like soap and bubble brand from Ulta and then I do have the Lush one I'm using now but this was in my project use it up as well to use up a lip mask and I was able to do that and then I used up a, a scalp um scrub this is from Christopher Robin, and this was a really, really nice scent. It's a cleansing, purifying scrub with sea salt. As you can see, it's got, it had like a little bit of a men's colon scent, but this scrub in particular was the easiest to use on my scalp because it broke up. It had enough emollient, whatever other material in it to actually like 
get in and it wasn't just like putting it right here, but I usually start here and I'll work it through the top of my head to about here, just cause I know that's kind of where my product buildup is. Um, so this one is my favorite so far. I have two more I'm using up, so I'll kind of share those thoughts with you in that project use it up. Um, skincare wise, I used up this Mar Mario Badescu Skin Soothing Spray. This was the Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. This was my favorite, but it's heavily, heavily scented. I much prefer the Tower 28. I do not recommend this. It's very inexpensive from Ulta. I think it's like $7, but I mean, my skin isn't very sensitive and it was sensitive to this at times, not all the time, but I feel like the Aloe Cucumber Green Tea is better than like the Rose. I think they have a lavender one. It really just depends on if your skin can handle fragrance, but these are heavily fragrant. So I'm glad to use it up and I won't repurchase because I have a favorite. This was my main skincare routine for the shower. I use this Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator about twice a week. I think you need to build this up in your skin routine. So it does have a very, I don't want to say rough, but there is an exfoliant to this. So I simply target my chin with this just to really clean out the pores because this is kind of where I break out the most. Then I'll take a little bit and rub it on the sides of my nose and just do it there. I will start my hair care routine, so shampoo. Then I'll rinse this off and then I went in with this Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester. It's a brightening cleanser and I really felt like this was you all like compliment my skin a lot this month and this was all I use. This once or twice a week, this every day in the shower. Um, I do take my makeup off with a makeup remover, but this is what I use in the morning. It did have this like beautiful orange citrus scent, which was really invigorating and kind of woke me up, but I really do like this. I think it's kind of on the pricey side for a cleanser. This was six ounces and I can't remember. I know I got this in like a boxy charm, but um, I do like it. And if I go through what I have on hand, and I'm looking for something that I liked. I like the Peach and Lily Cleanser the most. I like this one probably second most, but I've been trying to just work through what I have on hand. So I don't plan to repurchase either of these right now, but they are both products that work really well if you're in the market, or if you do like BoxyCharm, you get to pick. These are products I would actually suggest picking for your, um, you know, sometimes you get like a choice item or whatever. I did go through a set of the Garnier Fructis. This is Sleek and Shine. I like the way these smell. I don't use these exclusively. I kind of mix it up. I'll go with something like IGK and then I'll use something from the drugstore. And then I'll go back with something like Verb and then I'll use something from the drugstore. Um, this was made for, it's a keratin argon oil and it has frizzy dry unmanageable hair. And sometimes my curls just aren't really shaped well. I have a product I wanna share with you, my favorites that has been helping, thanks to my friend Melanie who sent it to me. Um, but this is really nice for my hair. It does seem to take a little bit of that frizz away for when it dries. Like right now it's still like in the drying process, which I do like an air dry. And then I just kind of like let my curls fall apart so that they're not super frizzy. But every once in a while, it gets frizzy. So a system like this does work, but I don't use exclusively the Garnier Fructis brand. And this has a new recycled cap. So that's nice to know. Okay, just a little bit more here. I did, I did switch to this this month. So my dentist told me that I am an aggressive brusher. So this was just good for my gums. I didn't necessarily have anything bad happening, but he said that this is something he recommended. So I grabbed this and I really like it actually. It's alcohol-free Colgate, the Peroxyl. It says like um, it's with hydrogen peroxide. So it definitely has almost like a Pepto-Bismol flavor to it. It's mild mint. But when you swish this around, it makes a foam in your mouth and you really just feel like it gets everywhere. So I don't use this every day, but I would say I probably use this three times a week to, you know, just rinse my mouth. And then I think it helps, you know, my teeth, I drink a lot of coffee and things. Um, so I think it helps with whitening a little bit. So that's good. I also use a whitening toothpaste, but um, that I really like. I'm, I repurchased it already and I plan to repurchase. So if you think, you know, mouthwashes can be a little abrasive, that one is very mild. De it came from my dentist. He, he literally pulled it out and he's like, go buy this. Um, you can pick it up at Walmart and I have actually seen benefits from it. So I'm glad that I did give it a try. Okay. I have so much makeup to share with you. Now, if you are just decluttered, because they're drying out, but um, I'll start with that. So these are ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. These are probably the last two in my collection. I used to have these all the time. 
They're a nice one and done shadow, but these are dried out. Um, there is like this wet formula. I think, I mean, if I press, I can get a little bit of color, but you can see it's like not, it's just mostly sparkle coming out now instead of the color. It used to be a nice, beautiful purple, like you can see, but they don't, I mean, they, I probably could use them, but I don't really use these with a brush. I use my finger and I just don't want that much glitter on my eyes. I have plenty. So, um, I did use these even though they look like they're still full. It's just that they, you don't really need a lot with these. Yeah, this one's really dried out. So, um, it's just mostly kind of given the glitter that's in there, but these were fun at the time. This was like a groundbreaking product because we didn't have anything that was like wet to dry eyeshadow and you could do two of these or one of these and create a really pretty eye look. Um, and I just think palettes have gotten more popular. And again, um, I think that these are still a big seller, but I don't really purchase them anymore because again, if you leave this open just the tiniest bit, they dry out and then they're done. They don't come back to life. So I'm going to go ahead and let these go. These were in the shade Revolution and so quiche. And I really loved these colors. It was like a taupey and a purpley sparkly shadow, but those have um, run their course in my collection. I used up these two mascaras for about three months. That's about the length of time I like to have mascaras. This one's from ColourPop. I really like this formula. It's just that this brown didn't really work for my eyelashes. They're really dark black. So you kind of see the brown on them. It was hard to get all the way to the root and um, this, cause this wand is huge, but it is drying out. You can tell like it's clumping on there. So this is just so big that I had a really hard time getting all the way down. And then I'd have like a distinct like black under brown. And I thought it would be like a natural mascara, but I guess, you know, brown mascaras are for more fair or, you know, red headed, um, red toned eyelashes and blonde. So I think that's probably what, you know, who's going to get the most points. I love the name. It was brownie points, but I did at least get to use it. It was really inexpensive, but overall I would not repurchase that, but maybe in the shade black because that would work better with my lashes. This one, a uh, big mood from e.l.f. This ended up being okay. At first I really didn't like it because it was so wet with that humongous brush. So, and I have a lot of lashes actually. Um, so when I was getting in there, I was still getting some up here and like my eyes are hooded. So, you know, this is sticking out quite a bit. So I just had to be really careful over the course. It dried out a little bit, so it ended up being okay, but I used it for three months. Now I have to like really pump it to get enough product. So we're going to call that done. I never know how to call mascaras done. That's why I just do a three month timeline. Um, okay. A couple more things. So I was using this, this was like a sample from Sephora. It was hourglass in the shade influencer. It was a lip pencil, but like all I have left is this little bit look. And you know, I have so many lip products. We're going to call that a completely used product because I'd have to scrape it out with like a lip pencil and you know, I have plenty of lipstick. So we're done with that. This used to be the bomb. This was like my favorite. I held on to it, even though I haven't been using it for a very long time. This is from the brand Jouer and it's in the shade Melon. I'm going to give you just a little swatch of it just one more time, you know, kind of thing. I used to wear this all the time, but it is drying out. It feels different, the formula, but that was just a color I really enjoyed. I may someday pick up another one, but um, I don't really wear liquid lipsticks anymore. But, you know, these I had so many of because I really loved this brand for so long. But that shade was my absolute favorite in Melon. So... And I do believe it was Leah Janae that kind of, you know, got me into these because she would buy this and I was like, oh, that looks so pretty. But now I like the Huda lipsticks and I just have a bunch of other ones. So I don't necessarily need it, but this was a favorite. So it was sad for me to let it go, but the formula is totally changing. Like I put it on one day and it just felt really weird on my lips. And I was like, I don't want to push that. Like I, I'm not putting all makeup on my lips. I've had that for a couple of years. Another one that I'm going to let go of is this Lorac Pro. I think it's in the shade Pink Taupe. This again was another one I loved and I'm really getting down there. Like I have a little bit left, but um, it just doesn't really even pop up anymore. So I'll give you a little swatch of it. It's that line right there. These work together really well. Um, these are nice because they were so small. You could use them as a liner or a lipstick, um, but I can't remember the last time that they even come out with these. But I used to love the brand Lorac. I had palettes, I had lip products, I had blushes. Some of their blushes are my favorite. So this is sad, but at the same time, like I'm just getting barely a little bit left. So I have enough makeup. I just can't be scraping containers. So 
Couple more things. These are ColourPop Supernova shadows. I don't even think they make these anymore. But as you can see, mine got quite a bit of love. I mean, they're obviously not completely empty, but I got a big old dent in them. And this was in the shade Moonlit. And this one was Constellation. I do believe these were actually both from like a Kathleen Lights collab. But I love these shadows. Like you see, you get like a nice champagne color and a nice burgundy color. Let's see if they'll give me anything so I can just swatch them one last time for you all. But the applicator was flat and you would think that this would be really hard to work with, but it really, really wasn't. It was really easy to just kind of like put a little bit on the inside and use a brush and you could like just build out a really pretty color on your eyes. I mean, they still swatch okay, but you have to go in quite a bit and I know they're getting old. So again, I was just doing the most here, but there's a swatch of Constellation and that's Moonlit. Aren't those pretty? They really did. I mean, I used the heck out of those. They kind of came after the, um, was it the Stila Glitter and Glow Shadows? But you, you know, ColourPop, I mean, if you know, ColourPop is super affordable. So I always just really loved, I just always enjoyed ColourPop as a brand. I'm wiping off my arms so I don't end up with this all over my clothes. But um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share those with you as I was going through my makeup going, I don't use this anymore and I've gotten my use out of it. So they are decluttered. Um, a couple more things that I just, I love and I want to share with you before I get rid of. These are the e.l.f. blush duos. These are still available and they're really good blushes. Now you can see I use the blush a heck more than I use the highlighter. I'm not really a highlight person, but what I really liked with these, and this is in the shade Watermelon. So again, you see it's like all the way around the pan. I can't really pick it up anymore. So I'm just calling that done. I would get the blush going and then I would just dot it into the highlighter and it would give a nice little sheen to the cheeks. I thought that was pretty. So that's how much I used of that one. These are like $2 or $3 at Walmart. And then this is in the shade um, Lychee or Lychee, Lychee. And the same is a little bit darker. I did not obviously get as much use out of this one, but I did. It's just that like now, you know, when I'm picking it up on the brush, I can get stripes because, you know, it's all the way around the pan. So we're calling these done. For $2, I definitely got a ton of use out of these, but I would do the same. I would pick up a, a good amount of the blush and then dot it into the highlight. So they were pretty, but I don't want to keep these for the highlights because I don't really use highlights like that. And then my last product, this is saddest. I used up this entire compact of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Who's wearing my makeup for 24 hours? What kind of job do you have? I have questions. Um, that's Emily Baker. I have questions. Um, which you guys, I've been watching her cover the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial and I, I'm losing bits of my life to this. I just got to get over soon. So I used up this entire powder. Can you see it had little pieces left and I was still dipping my brush. This is a really nice powder foundation. Now, if you like light coverage like me, I don't really usually wear liquid foundation whatsoever, BB creams. I do my concealer and then I go in with a brush. Um, I can probably even grab a brush I use right here. And, you know, I just get enough on this brush and then I just kind of like go down like you would a liquid foundation and you can see the coverage. Like you can see that your skin looks blurred and beautiful. And this is like under $15. It lasted me a year, which is great. Um, I'm definitely going to repurchase this. It's a favorite. I have the shade vanilla. So if you're, you know, uncooked chicken skin color like me, vanilla would work for you. And I'm definitely going to pick this up. I know I picked mine up on Amazon when it first came out because TikTok lost their mind over this and you couldn't find it anywhere. But now I see it in Walmart's targets all the time. So you should be able to go in and get it. I recommend it because this has been compared to like the Fenty foundation and several other like a Clinique foundation. So it holds its own with high end products. So that's always a good thing. Okay. That's all the makeup you guys. But again, I just wanted to show you that you do get through things. If you just keep working towards that, you know, I call it done when I feel like I've got my use out of it. Not every product can I scrape out every last little bit. Quickly here, we're gonna go over the wax melts. This video is always long. I used up a lavender and lemonade with a sugared, uh, sweet sugared lemon. This was amazing. Highly recommend it from Walmart. This was not amazing. I thought it was gonna be. This was Caramel Apple Lane. This just smells like eating a caramel apple outside mixed with express, espresso cake pop. And you know, it's a coffee vanilla scent. It looked like chocolate based on the packaging, but the notes are coffee vanilla bean. This gave nothing. This gave nothing. 
when I put it in, I was like, where's the coffee? Like coffee? How do you mess up coffee? I could smell the caramel, but these were weak and I will not repurchase. Okay, then I mixed, this was great. This was amazing. This was at the fair. This has notes of churros, brown sugar, and funnel cake. These are so strong. These are 97 cents. And I was mixing it with um, fresh baked bread, just one cube, because this is very yeasty, smells like bread, buttered, baking in the oven. And I made like a monkey bread scent. So it was very cinnamon, churros, brown sugar mixed with that bread. It was so good. I do recommend that one. And then I was able to use up Pink Beach, which is just like a sugary, fruity scent mixed with Dragon Fruit Splash, which you get, you know, pomegranate, watermelon, honeydew, like papaya. You get a lot of fruits over here. It was very tropical. It smelled delicious. Only one I was really disappointed in was those espresso cake pop because I really couldn't smell them whatsoever. Okay, so now we're into the Bath and Body Works. We're about 20 minutes in. I used up four hand soaps this month. Now, Aaron uses his own soft soap antibacterial. So I just use one in my bathroom and Aiden uses one. So we only got through four, which I don't think is actually enough for a month, but we're only home at night and then the weekends. I don't know. So we used up a raspberry tangerine from last year. This is wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, and lemon zest. And then a coastal watermelon favorite. This is juicy watermelon, pinch of pink sea salt, and ocean waves. And then he used up this one, strawberry lemon, in this cute little packaging. It had sweet strawberry, sparkling lemon, and crystallized sugar. Now, I got strawberry lemonade out of this, but I heard people say this smelled like a cat box to them. So, yikes. I don't know. And then in the kitchen, we had a toasted vanilla chai from Christmas, but it was in a little wraparound. So, who cares? Whipped vanilla, spun sugar, and winter spice. So, those were the four soaps we used up this month. And then I'm going to talk about these very briefly because they'll all be in a project use it up. I was able to use up quite a few minis. So I used up a firecracker pop hand cream. I love this scent. It smells like a popsicle. I used up a Fiji sunshine guavatini. This one is just so fruity and sweet and fun. I love this scent too. Again, I know I'm not giving you a lot of details, but I definitely will in that video. I used up a mini of the raspberry sugar and the lotion. This one is not overly sweet. You can't get it now, but it's just like a little bit of raspberry. I don't know. I, I don't need that again. I, I wasn't impressed. I used up an at the beach. This has like a million notes. White frangipani blossom, toasted coconut, bergamot water, sea salt breeze, sunkissed musk. I love this set. It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. I finished up my full-size pink watermelon. It was in my project. Use it up. You guys got me cutting creams. You see this? I'm cutting up minis. I'm cutting up hand creams. Like, I don't know what y'all did to me. But I used up every little bit. And this is a scent that I really love. But Pink Watermelon Blast is here. So we're never going to probably talk about Pink Watermelon Plain again, I don't think. I used up three hand sanitizers. I used up a bubblegum. This is so good. Pink bubblegum is my favorite. Tutti Fruity Candy from the Somebody Loves You, and then Be a Nice Human Mango Swirl. I think that's the one Aiden used up. He always has one on his backpack too. And then two more showered, oh, actually three. So finished up in this weekend. It was about right here at the beginning of the month. So finished that up. Finished up a pink watermelon, which was about here. So quite a bit. Used that up. And then we went through the complete a thousand wishes. I prefer the moisturizing body wash to the shower gels. Um, but a lot of the packaging comes off and then it's stuck to your body or it's going down your drain and you have to fish it out. So that's the only thing, not a huge deal, but does that happen to you all? How do you prevent it? Because I don't cut up these just because I'm in the shower and I'm not taking scissors in the shower where I don't have any clothes up. Not happening. So this is done. Squeeze it to death. You know, got my cardio in. And I love the scent of A Thousand Wishes. That's one of my favorites. Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. Just one of the most beautiful scents that they have ever made. So it is a favorite. And then I used up this mist in Black Cherry Merlot. I think I was down to here at the last Use It Up. But use that all the way up. Isn't that packaging so cute? I love that packaging. I did finish up Strawberry Pound Cake. I think we were to here. So that was a good amount of use. Um... I can't remember which one. I think it was that one. Yeah. Um, but again, I just had picked this up, but I decided I was silly because I had three or four different packaging. So I put the newest one in to kind of punish myself, I guess. And then the very last thing, I know I'm going a million miles a minute, but I have used up a ton of wallflower plugs. So we're going to get through those and then we'll say goodbye. So I used up um, an iced cranberry scone. I used up a cotton candy champagne. 
This month we used up quite a few of the Easter. This is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I love that one. Um, you know, Cotton Candy Champagne was light. Again, it didn't get all the way down, but you can see that juice has turned, so I wasn't getting any smell. Ice Cranberry Scone is a strong one for your kitchen, I'll tell you. Um, pink watermelons, another strong one for a hallway or a bathroom. I didn't get all that juice out, but when we switched them out, we kind of switched them all out. And then we got through one sweet carrot cake. Like I said, you can see it's just got the littlest bit left there. I'm good at that point, truly. Another hop to it. And sometimes they, it's just kind of, they're just like, they decide, are they going to go all the way down or do they just stop here? But usually I'm telling y'all, I have them in for like a week after that. I think they're just done giving what they're going to give. We use up a summer boardwalk, another delicious caramel apple popcorn scent. I love that one in the wall plug. A mango Mai Tai. This one is delicious, you guys. That is such a good drink scent. I love it. Wildberry Jam Donut. I love this one. This is so good. If you see this at Sass, grab it. You will thank me. It's a very strong wallflower plug and you can kind of plug it in anywhere. And then the last one was a Tutti Frutti candy. And again, it was just like ever, like sometimes they turn brown, but I can actually read Tutti Frutti candy on here. So I knew I had picked right, but I can also smell it. Um, but yeah, like this was blue. This was blue juice and then it turned kind of orange and funky. So those are all done. So we went through what? One, two, three, four, five, eleven wallflowers this month. So that's pretty good. So that is my empties for May. And again, we're still only like three weeks in. But I feel really good about this. Like I said, got lots of products out, lots of Project Use It Up stuff done. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you're proud of for using up this month. Are you working on your Project Use It Up? We will update that right at the beginning of June. Start a new one because, again, we need to keep using our stuff and kind of have some SAS, some annual sale wish lists and what we want hope to find and what we're excited about videos coming. So I hope that you will stick around, subscribe if you haven't. I don't usually plug that, but I really appreciate you all. I'm going to do another giveaway when we hit 3,000. It's just really fun to do. Um, and I've done one at each of the thousand marks so far. So I'm excited to do that. I think we'll be able to do that maybe in June. So again, thank you guys for subscribing, liking, and commenting. I appreciate you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one, probably tomorrow. Bye guys.